What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. Now, I know you guys have seen that title, you know what time of the year it is. Listen, I'm getting ready to show you just how easy it is to make a smoked, you know, ham. And guess what? We finna put a brown sugar glaze on it. And you know what the level up on this one's gonna be? Listen, we finna do it using Kingsford Hickory Pellets. We finna put that smoke flavor, but I'm not finna over talk it, so let's get it. With Kingsford 100% hickory pellets, I can assure that I get the best flavor possible. So look, let me just go ahead and open this up. And then I want to, I want you guys to notice, look, this is a five pound bag. So for some of you guys that want to use like different type of pellets, cause they got all kinds, right? The classic blend, you can go with hickory, whatever. If you only want to put so many uh, pellets in your hopper, you can. That's what makes these so convenient. I don't know about you guys, but I ain't never fired up my grill hoping to get 50% of any type of flavor, right? Right now, I'm bringing my smoker up to temp, right? I'm gonna be smoking this at about 250 degrees, so we preheating that. Now, I want you guys to take a look. You can see this is the star of the whole show right here. Look, I got me a ham. Look, I don't even have, it's not even spiral cut. You know what I mean? We gonna cut it down ourselves, but we gonna baste this and get this real nice. Now, I want you guys to take a look at my ingredients right here. Not a whole lot of ingredients, right? So listen, I'm gonna start brown sugar. We got honey, apple cider. I'm using the barbecue rub right here. And then we got butter. Right? Look, you don't wanna drown. Okay, so let me explain it this way. It's this combination here, along with the Kingford, you know, hickory pellets, that, that combination is what's gonna level this up and turn this into something that's totally different for us that's doing this for the holiday. Hey, super simple. Hey, I'm not gonna over talk it. I'm finna mix this up and we finna get it. This is the first thing we're gonna do, right? I already sprayed the bottom of my pan with a little non-stick spray, right? So look, I'm gonna take the ham, I'm gonna put it like this, cut side down, right? Now, I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna get rid of some of this fat right here because we wanna get some of that flavor down in there. You see this right here? This right here is not gonna render down. So I like to just always cut this down. Leave a little fat because that's gonna leave us a little juice. You know, but all of this thick, we just wanna take it off. This was not a spiral cut, right? So this is like the whole piece of ham. So that's why we cut that skin off, because once we season the skin, it's not gonna pass through the skin and get on that. Now I left some fat on here, we're gonna treat it just like we do a brisket. Why? Because look, this is gonna render down, but as it's cooking, check it out. It's gonna take the barbecue rub that I'm using, it's gonna take that and soak down into the meat, and that's what we want. I'll do it like this first, just so you can see. But if you see how I'm putting it on like this, you see, really nothing is falling. As it hits it, it sticks, right? That's what we want, right? So look, now I'll just take my hand like this and get it like this. Okay, so you guys can see, look at the coverage, right? I guess for like best results, you guys can like let it sit on here for about 15 minutes maybe, you know, 15, 20 minutes, but the longer you let it sit on here, the longer it'll penetrate, get inside of the fat. But now, for me, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, but I wanna be fast, right? So I'm gonna open it up. Take it like this. And we're gonna let it sit inside for one hour. This is my apple cider. I know it's been working just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up. And keep in mind, I didn't open this up and let no heat out. So this is truly one hour. Look at that right there. You can see the color on it. You can look down here on the bottom. You can see it starting to generate some fat. That right there, we like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna baste. Now, I'm gonna let this go for about 45 minutes. Just say 40 minutes, we'll go for 40 minutes. Then we come back, then we're gonna baste a little bit more. It's been 40 minutes, let's go ahead and take a look. Nice. So now I'm just gonna baste one more time. Remember, you're gonna get a lot of flavor from this apple cider. But this, along with the fat rendering down there, then we're gonna mix up some glaze too. That's what's gonna make everything nice and tie everything in. Now, I'm gonna let this go for about another 40 minutes. Now, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and get this glaze together. We got butter, we got honey, brown sugar, and then we got apple cider. Now, what we wanna do is we just gonna let this all melt then we're gonna mix it up and then we're gonna start our glaze. I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna let 
you know, my smoker, go ahead and melt everything down and infuse, you know, some of that hickory flavor inside of this also. Listen, when I tell you this is a level up, this is it. And then I want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below how many of you guys are smoking a turkey or doing a ham and doing it like that for this Thanksgiving. Everything is nice and melted. Look, I got a pair of gloves on and I got some cotton underneath. Actually, these are cut resistant, but it gives me a little extra so that I can handle this. But since we're gonna leave this in here like that, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this, get some of that. And now we're gonna take our glaze and we're just gonna put it on the top. I want you guys to look at it. You can see it's kind of thick. Look at this right here, you guys. Look, that's what you want. You want all of this flavor. And guess what? It's gonna go all the way down to the bottom. And then once it does, we're gonna let it mix with some of the rendering from the ham. And that right there is gonna produce a little bit e even more flavor. So I let it go for about 20 minutes, right? Look at that right there. Whew. It's starting to caramelize over here on the top. Look how shiny that is. That's real nice. Now we just let it go for about another I guess about another 20 minutes, then we'll take it out, let it cool a little bit, dress it up, and then we're gonna do a taste test. After basting in it, you know what I mean, and kept doing that in intervals, you guys can do it how you want to. Listen, I've done let it, you know, come out, let it cool down, at least enough where I can handle it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the bed right here. Let me just see right here. Oh my goodness, look at that right there. Oh yeah. Then we'll just take it and we'll just put it just like you see. You can see I cut some uh, oranges. These are just orange slices that I'm gonna just use just for like for some color, you know? So if you're doing this for the holiday, look, you can just like set this up. You guys can get some nice color, a nice display, all of that. Then you save some of this right here just in case you want to put some on the table so everybody can like kind of like dip. Hey, with that being said, ooh, I can tell you right now, the aromatic that's coming off of that, look, you want to talk about that flavor from that hickory? This is it right here. Hey, so let, let me get my knife. Let's go ahead and cut us some and let's go from there. What I'm getting ready to do is, I'm just getting ready to cut me a piece, right? So let's just go ahead and just cut it like this. It is cooled enough. Look at that right there. Ah. Oh. And we just cut a slice, just keep cutting. And then we put that on there right there. This is when I tell you guys, it ain't fair. Cheers, y'all. The jury's still out. Let me hit it again. That's fire. Hey, listen, what I can tell you is right off the back, as soon as you pull it out, listen, the aromatic that come off with them hickory, you know, that hickory smell, that right there does it. Listen, I use Kingsford 100% hickory, you know, wood pellets to give me that, you know, like just that infused, you know, taste along with, you know, what we did as far as smoking our uh, ham, right? Super easy and super simple, right? And not to mention that you can use Kingsford pellets in any type of grill, right? So with that being said, listen, I'm gonna cut me a couple of more slices. I'm gonna put it between some uh, thick, sliced, grilled, you know, bread. And guess what, folks? We finna act like it's the day after Thanksgiving. You know what, because I'm gonna make a nice sandwich. Now, if your mouth ain't watering, I don't know what will. So with that being said, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and I want you guys to tell everybody out there, listen, it's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that, I'm finna cut, sandwich, and eat, and I'm out. Peace.